Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and are you sick and tired of iOS 26 or you're facing a lot of issue all right, on iOS 26 or even iPad OS 26. Alright, as you guys have known, all right, iOS 26 is the newest iOS version and it just came out so it could, you know, always the new OS version always comes, sometimes comes with bugs and issues that has been really, really troubling to you and you're looking for it to downgrade it to the previous iOS version, which is iOS 18. Alright, well, you're in luck today because today I will show you the best solution I've been using, alright, to downgrade it back because I've been facing a lot of bugs, alright, on my iPhone in iOS 26. So, um, I'm using this software, alright, to downgrade it back to iOS 18 so that until, you know, iOS 26 get more stable before I upgrade it again. And how am I supposed to do that? And how do I do that? Well, I'm using this software right here. So this is the Outphone iOS system repair and we're using this all right, to downgrade my iPhone back to iOS 18 and it's been working really really well, don't have any issues and it's been really reliable and it's the safest way to do so. So um, yeah, and this not only does that, all right, it also helps with a lot of other iOS system issues that may occur in the future like stuck in recovery mode, stuck in Apple logo, black screen or frozen screen, battery drain, a lot of other issues that you guys have on your iPhone, this thing can help fix that as well. So yeah, this is um, really, really all in one, you know, um, hospital for your iPhone. All right. So right now I'm going to show you guys the software itself and how the whole process is to downgrade from iOS 26 back to iOS 18. As, uh, as you guys have known, downgrading an OS version for iOS, it's been really, really hard. And most of the time, if you want to move go to the, you know, the shops for it to help you downgrade it, they will charge you an absurd amount of price which is really really insane. All right, almost four to five times the price you get for this license so it's not worth it and you might not know what they might do to your phone, they might swap out the internal parts with a third party parts, you might not even know at all. So yeah, there's a risk to it and you're paying a lot more money and um, yeah, why not? You guys can just do it at the comfort of your own home without worrying about that. And you guys can do it comfortably without losing any data. So I'm going to show you the whole process itself on how it is done later on. So right now I'm going to show you guys the software itself. And you guys can see what the software can do and what are the features it has. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you guys the software itself. Let's go. Shoo. Alright, so you guys can see right over here, this is the software itself and um, yeah, you guys can see it has iOS system repair right over here so we can repair a lot of other issues. You can one click into recovery mode. Alright, and today we will be focusing on is the iOS upgrade or downgrade. So you have seen the text here, upgrade or downgrade. So you guys can downgrade which is the today's solution. You guys can also upgrade it if you have any issues upgrading your phone to the later OS. You guys can do that as well. You guys can also uh, do a data backup and recovery. One click reset your phone and more features like here. You guys can see all the other features over here, which um, needs uh, some, some needs other software, but yeah, some you guys can do it on the software itself. All right, so today we are going to do with the iOS upgrade and downgrade. So what you're going to have to do is just do click on that and you guys can choose between upgrades all right, or downgrade itself, all right? But um, I'm going to show you guys a little way how you guys can recover it back after downgrading it. So um, for now, all right, it will say data loss, but do not worry about that, okay? So um, yeah, I guess for me, I'm downgrading it to iOS 18. So once you click on that, all right, then you click on downgrade, all right, and you have to connect your device. So right now, I'm going to just connect my iPhone, all right, into my PC with a data cable. So I just connect it to my PC, and I'm going to show you guys the whole process itself. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you guys the whole demonstration footage itself. Let's go. Shh. Okay, so the first thing first, you will have to back up your iPhone. All right? So you'll back up all the data you currently have in your iPhone, and you guys can just back it up using uh, iTunes. So you just need to back it up. All right, once the backup is done, you guys can now go ahead, you do the software itself and go ahead and click on the iOS upgrade and downgrade. All right, just click on the downgrade and just click on that. All right, and you'll get the firmware version. All right, and you guys can see, all right, the firmware name and the firmware size and the available status is downgradable. As you guys can see on my iPhone 14 Pro, all right, the iOS version is 26. All right, so I just need to click on download. All right, and it will start downloading the firmware itself. All right, so right now I'm going to modify the backup file. All right, just have to follow this instruction right here. Just go down and find the info.plist. All right, just right click on that and uh, edit it using Notepad and find the thing that says product. Under the string, all right, edit it to at 18.5. And once it's done, all right, you just need to initiate the downgrade. So this is to ensure that when you restore your 
your data from iCloud, uh, from iTunes, all right, it will be able to restore it, all right. So uh, once you're done, it will start downgrading it. So you guys need to wait, probably this will take about two minutes and your iPhone will reboot and you will go into the Halo screen. So in this, what you have to do is just to restore your iPhone from the backup from your iTunes that you previously backed up and bam, all right, all your backup it's done so you have successfully downgraded it without any data loss so this is how easy it is to downgrade from ios 26 to ios 18 so yeah this is the whole simple process and it probably only takes me about uh, four minutes to five minutes to do the whole thing so it's really really fast and really really easy to do so all right so if you guys have seen from the whole demonstration process itself it's very very easy the whole process probably takes me about five minutes and it's after that it's done and um, fully using my iPhone back in iOS 18 and I've been really really happy with that no issue at all can sign with my iCloud can sign with other things can use my phone as per normal with now no issues popping out at all so uh, it's really really awesome and it works like it works really really well it's been really reliable throughout and I don't have any issues with it at all and um, yeah so I can safely recommend you guys this software if you guys out there are looking for software alright to repair or like to diagnose any issues to repair any issues you have your iphone or to basically simply upgrade or downgrade your ios version this will be the safest and the most reliable way to to do it on your iphone all right other software they might cause your iphone to be bricked all right or some they can cause your iphone to be you know go haywire this and that you're gonna pay like a lot sum of money to go to apple for it to get repaired this and that you know to save you the trouble this will be the best and safest way to do it to your iPhone alright so to do the downgrade on your iPhone so yeah this is the iPhone iOS system repair and if you guys want to check out this software right here you guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and get this software for yourself wait no further and get this right now and it can save you so much money so much time and as well as you guys can do it at the comfort of your own home and it's really reliable and it doesn't break your phone at all so you guys are looking for the best and most reliable and safer software alright to is to simply downgrade your software to uh, your iOS version. All right, you guys can check out this. All right, Outfold iOS system repair. The first link will be in the video description down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out. So yeah, that's all, you guys. And this is JFOS Gaming. And if you liked this video and it helps you with your issue, do give you a thumbs up. And without further ado, this is JFOS Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.